This morning's Coffee With is with George Burgess. And satellite interview is first by Net Geo Wild. George, welcome to WJZ. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Yourself? Well, it's, it's sharks, sharks, and more sharks, or as Lynn just said. So many sharks. George, what is it with the popularity of sharks? Sharks are, uh, are uh, perhaps the, uh, uh, the best known animals that, uh, that humans can't control. Uh, we're, I think we're all fascinated with the natural phenomena that are out of our reach, such as lightning and tornadoes and hurricanes. Uh, in the case of, uh, of animals, you know, even the biggest, uh, baddest land animals, uh, elephants and lions and tigers, can go down with a, a, a well-aimed uh, rifle shot. But one-on-one -on -one in the sea, uh, sharks are, are going to win out every time, and I suspect that's what really gets people off. So tell us about Shark Fest 2017. <laughs> Well, uh, there's uh, all kinds of good programs going on uh, uh, this week on National Geo Wild, and, and uh, uh, there's, there's uh, uh, programs dealing with the threat of sharks, dealing with the ecology of sharks, uh, uh, why things are, are, are occasionally, sharks are occasionally are swarming and so forth. A wide variety of topics. Uh, uh, one of my favorites is the one on hammerheads, which is available. Well, tell me about, I want to ask you about hammerheads, because here along the shores of the Chesapeake Bay, when the bay gets very saline, as it can, when we don't get a lot of rain, uh, sharks have migrated up the bay. There have been hammerheads caught under the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Talk about a hammerhead. We see one behind you. Yeah, hammerhead. Yeah, there's hammerheads. Uh uh, they do come into the bay when, when it gets more saline, and of course there's a variety of other sharks that are, that are uh, fairly common in Chesapeake Bay. Uh, uh, the, the hammerheads stay uh, at the lower end of the bay because they, they can't take uh, too much in the way of brackish water. Uh, but the bull sharks uh, will go right on up into the estuaries and, and are found in the uh, Patuxent River and the Potomac River uh, estuaries uh, in, during the summertime. And of course, bull sharks are the species that we're most concerned about with shark attack. Why is that? Uh, they're, uh, they're a species that's particularly aggressive. Uh, it doesn't get as big as, say, the white shark, which gets to about 20 feet. The bull only gets in about 12 or 14. Uh, but when it attacks, it's very aggressive, continuous attacks, goes after the, the, whatever it's, it's after, and uh, hence it gets the name bull shark. Hey, let's talk shark attack for a second. I'm actually trying to bring up a picture of a bull shark. Um, I have often been, I was a diver for years and years. And the general thinking was that shark wants to eat that fish, or that shark thinks that paddleboarder is a seal, or that surfer is a seal, and that it's mistaken identity as an attack on a human. They don't, for instance, the big thing with diving was that that shark would rather eat that fish than something with bubbles coming out of its head. Do you agree? Yeah, I do agree. In fact, um, uh, uh, if you look at uh, uh, aquatic recreation, it's the group that receives the most attacks are the surfers, uh, where it, it occurs in an area of high turbidity, and, and we think that the most of these attacks are, are mistaken identity situations. Uh, divers, by contrast, generally see the sharks, the sharks see the divers, and the, the numbers of attacks on divers is far lower than other groups. So uh, it, it, it underscores the thought process that sharks are not really interested in humans because humans are not a normal part of their food chain. We're not, we're not a, a a marine animal. Uh, so most of the I, time, uh, uh, a shark gets, sees a human, it shies away. Hmm. I just brought up a picture of a bull shark. I didn't realize that that was called a bull shark. That's your prototypical, what you would think of. Yeah. If I was going to get a tattoo of a shark, that, that would, would be the be shark. That would be the image. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful shark. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's got a massive head and a thick body. It certainly looks shark, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it does. Hey, listen, we've only got about 40 seconds left. What got you into sharks? What's the short story of it? Well, I, I guess the short story is, is uh, uh, while other kids wanted to be uh, cowboys or Indians or nurses, I wanted to be a marine biologist, and I was able to follow that uh, all the way through my uh, education and into my career. So uh, one of those lucky few who uh, got to do exactly what they wanted to do as a kid. Hey, listen, we got to go. <laughs> Great seeing you. Nat Geo Wild, always a pleasure. Thanks, George. Take care.
That, that, was an inter- that was an interesting stat at this late day. Shark, shark, sharks. Can I remember when I was learning dive, I said, what about a shark? Jim McAllister, legendary uh, diver in the area, looked at me and goes, you think that shark wants to bite? You've got bubbles coming out of your head. It's not interesting. He wants that blue fish. <laughs>